once upon a young year When all our shadows disappeared The animals inside came out to play Went face to face with all our fears Learned our lessons through the tears Made memories we knew would never fade One day my father, he told me Son, don't let it slip away He took me in his arms, I heard him say When I get older, you're wild I will live for younger days Think of me if ever you're afraid He said one day When thunder clouds start pouring down, light a fire they can't put out. Carve your name into those shining stars. He said, Go venture far beyond the shores. Don't forsake this life of yours. I'll guide you home no matter where you are. One day, my father, he told me, Son, don't let it slip away. When I was just a kid, I heard him say, When you get older, your wild heart will live for younger days. Think of me if ever you're afraid. Yeah! Okay, so competed on Sunday, it's now Monday night. I wasn't even considering uh, recording on Sunday night. I was just, I was tired. It was a very long day. Um, things went well, things didn't go well. Um, I'm gonna get, get the bad news out of the way first. Um, the bathroom scale that I use, that I've used to weigh myself throughout all this prep is fucking bullshit. Um, it told me I was like 82, upwards of 82 kilos. So I was like, well shit. You know, what if that's a bit inaccurate? Um, ironic, because we'll soon find out it was very inaccurate. So I was like, well, I've not done all this, so I can just go there, not make weight and lift as a guest, you know? So I depleted massively. I fasted, barely any fluids, barely any food in me. By the time I got there at the afternoon session, 1 p.m. rolls around, I weigh in. 78.2 kilos. I was almost a full five kilos off my weight class basically had not a lot of time to try and 
around a lot of food down my throat. Granted, I had two hours, but it's not as simple as just eating as much as possible. You know, you've gone that long about eating. Yes, you're hungry initially, but it quickly becomes sickening. Um, and because of that, I was cramping up a lot. Uh, didn't actually cramp up during squats, um, which was surprising, considering obviously that was my first movement. Did cramp up during bench, um, my glute and my hamstring both cramped up on the right side, which was less than ideal, but the only thing that went wrong on the day was I missed my third bench, as you saw in the video just then, 115, right arm came up, left arm, not so much, um, so I went eight for nine, and for my first meet, I'm surprised I managed to get three white lights on all of my lifts, um, obviously except for that bench press, which I failed, and um, that is pretty much all the bad news out of the way. Um, I am fully aware, it's not something I necessarily do consciously, but I am aware of it and I'm not necessarily upset about it, but basically I'm quite critical of myself in the way that um, even if I do acknowledge that I've done something right, it's very hard for me to just say, right, okay, I've done this right. It's always, I've done this right, but, um, and I think to some degree, that is a mindset that can get you very far, especially in this sport, because you're never going to be satisfied. I kept saying yesterday, talking to people, happy but not satisfied, that's why I am. Um, it is my first meet, so maybe I should uh, give myself a bit of credit, and I will. I don't think I did bad, um, considering I was underweight. Nerves, nerves were really getting to me before squats, so my handler was literally telling me to stand outside and just go go and breathe man breathe i was like yeah i'm breathing i wasn't breathing it was um it was quite nerve-wracking but he called it he said to me man once you're under that um under that bar for your first squat attempt all the nerves would go and they did qualifying total for northwest championships which is the second meet i'm planning to in november was 375 kilos I um I got that and I, I totaled 467.5 kilos um, with a 172.5 kilo squat, 110 kilo bench and 185 kilo deadlift. Bench, obviously I failed my third attempt, so that's the main area I need to work on. Um, really going to focus during this next prep on focusing on my weak points and fixing them, improving them to the point of fixing them. Squat maybe a bit more in the tank. Squat I was the happiest with personally. I hit a PR. Um, you know, it's not every day. Um, you managed to hit a PR on the platform, so that was great. Deadlifts. I didn't lift what I was planning on, but the reason that doesn't upset me is because I know for a fact I had more in the tank. It looked pretty fast, but it felt even faster. So not to get ahead of myself, but uh, deadlifts is really the thing I'm. I'm hoping to perform the best in next time because I wanna I wanna pull some some heavy weight. But that means that basically we're all set. Um Yusuf, my coach, is gonna be coach me yet again, which I'm very grateful for because he's basically the whole reason um that I managed to get into the sport and that I managed to even show up to my first meet knowing what I was doing. And I think this is a nice natural way to segue into the the thank yous. Yusuf don't know if you watch my videos, chances are you don't actually know I have a YouTube channel, but this is just for the record. Extremely, extremely grateful. Honestly, I could not have done it without you. That then extends over to Zach. Obviously, if you've been watching any of my videos, you very, very likely know who Zach is. Zach got me in touch with Yusuf for the past few weeks. He's been driving me all the way over to Bradford so that we can use uh, comp equipment, so that we can both get ready for our respective meets. But see, I don't have a car. Without Zach, I, I would have been fucked, you know. It's it's not every day that you find someone who's willing to take that many hours out of their day every week for multiple consecutive weeks. Um, pretty much just for the sake of helping you out. So Zach, I know you're gonna, I know you're gonna be watching this one, and I know that you're probably gonna leave a, a funny comment that I'm gonna have to spend time thinking of a witty response to. Thank you very much, good sir, and also good luck on your meet on Sunday. Very excited to see that. There's also my dad. Um, 
basically, you know, I'm 17. Uh, I'm not going to be able to have money to just throw around. So my dad really helped me out with getting uh, all my equipment, my belt, my knee sleeves, everything. It's, uh, it's, just, it's just been ideal. Um, I haven't had to worry that much about that kind of stuff. So very grateful for that. And then the main ones are just my girlfriend and all my friends who support me through my journey, everyone who joined the live stream to watch and all the other lifters there. Um, you know, whenever I explained, oh, it's my first meet, everyone was really supportive um, and said to me, like, you know, just calm down, you know, you're doing well. Um, and especially at times when I thought I wasn't doing well, that was exactly what I needed. Um, I'm happy, but I'm not going to have much time to rest because I'm taking a week off powerlifting just to let my body heal. I think it's a much needed break, but then we're getting straight back into it. Me and Yusuf are gonna get to work. Uh, we're both competing at Northwest Championships as well. Yusuf's gonna lift something crazy, I assume. But the main thing is I really, really wanna put on a good show here. This isn't an open competition. I will be separated by, separated by age, so this is my chance to win, to win something, to win a medal to place and to leave my impression that's exactly what i want to do so you're going to see more videos from me because honestly i just want to get everything going now i'm back at college um, but that's not going to stop me i'm going to be making videos i'm going to be training doing everything perfect making sure that everything's executed exactly how it should be because that is exactly what's going to get me good results on meet day so thank you very much for watching thank you for supporting me so far throughout this journey and I hope that you will continue to do so from this point forward. But until next time, I'm out.